Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood brony metalhead here with another like unscripted rant type video. And today I've got some pretty unfriendly words for the bullshit YouTube is doing to its content creators with its largely bullshit policies hurting its creators, especially its smaller ones. We'll get to that a little later. But first off, I want to touch on their advertiser friendly guidelines and why that's really fucking over our creators. Basically, what YouTube deems as advertiser friendly, it basically means videos that they can run ads on that are pretty SFW. Like, I can understand not wanting to run ads on ISIS campaign videos, nor on porn, but sometimes YouTube's advertiser-friendly guidelines are too strict. Like, it seems that in order for a video to be advertiser-friendly, it has to be on par with the same squeaky clean, extra kid-friendly shit that airs on, like, Playhouse Disney, or I hear they're calling it fucking Disney Junior now or something, I don't know. Point is, basically, if it's fit to run on YouTube Kids, it's advertiser friendly. Otherwise, it's not. I mean, come on, YouTube. Like, basically, having advertiser friendly guidelines that strict only ensures success for channels that do the most harmless, inoffensive, kid-friendly shit going, like fucking Minecraft videos, or here's a classic, toy review unboxing videos. And let me tell you this, right here, right now, I'm not gonna start making my videos all like fucking Good morning, children. Cadillac Brony here, and today we got another super duper exciting toy review! Yay, bite me. Yeah, it seems that basically YouTube's advertiser friendly guidelines are hurting everything that's not super kid friendly and shit. Like,. I've got news for you, YouTube. Your demographic is not the same demographic that watches shit like Paw Patrol and Sesame Street. You don't have to make your videos as squeaky clean as Playhouse Disney's line of programming. Pull your heads out of your asses, for shit's sake. Like, look at what I'm doing in my video right now. All the times I said, Fuck, I'd be lucky if I'd be able to monetize this one once I hit that MAGICAL 1000 subscriber count! Which segues me right into the next point I wanted to talk about. Now, you can't monetize your videos unless you have at least a thousand subscribers. WHAT THE FUCK?! It's like... Does YouTube want their smaller channels to die? It's almost like YouTube is trying to get rid of these smaller channels while it lets the big boys get away with whatever the fuck they want. Like fucking Logan Paul being allowed to show a fucking dead body without consequences. Why can't smaller channels even make money on their videos? The logic YouTube is running on right now is so ass backwards, I can't even begin to describe it. Basically, YouTube gives the impression that they're like, uh, like, you know that snake that starts eating its own tail? It, and as it keeps like consuming and consuming and consuming and shit? The snake eventually eats itself completely and pops into oblivion. That's a perfect analogy for YouTube right now. YouTube is a snake that's eating its own tail. It's only going to be a matter of time before their platform becomes irrelevant as its smaller channels 
as it becomes more and more inhospitable for their smaller channels, they're gonna move to other platforms like Vimeo or Dailymotion and shit like that. It's like, come on YouTube, give the little guy a break. Like, they... It seems that they really don't give a shit about their smaller channels anymore like they used to, but it seems that they seem to forget the titans of YouTube today, like PewDiePie, Markiplier, all those guys. They weren't always big channels that dominate the sphere. They used to be small channels too, like mine, and they grew over time with a lot of hard work and a lot of exposure. So why is YouTube suppressing its smaller channels and preventing them from becoming big like these channels that are already established and have been big for years? It makes no fucking sense. None at all. It's like, it's like YouTube has this double standard or something, like, its smaller channels are so strictly regulated and shit that they can't get off the ground, and yet bigger channels like Logan Paul, like I said, can show a fucking dead body in one of their videos, and they're allowed to monetize the fucking video. At least they were, until the backlash from the YouTube community forced a response out of them and the video was taken down. But my point still stands. In any normal, not fucked up world, if a channel showed a dead body, that channel would be terminated right then and there. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. But fucking Logan Paul gets to show one because herd -er -der, he's Logan Paul. Blow me, Celestia. It's like the logic YouTube seems to be running on is sorely lacking in the logic department, you know? It's complete and utter horse feathers. Bullshit, malarkey, hogwash. <clears throat> And it's hurting the small channels like mine. Like, for example, take my videos, for instance. I've made a couple GTA videos, and eventually, I want to make my My Little Pony-themed death metal CD. And I want to put the songs from that on YouTube. But because of the language in those videos, I'm not going to be able to monetize them because I say fuck, shit, it's piss, ass a lot in the lyrics. And apparently YouTube's advertiser-friendly gods don't like that kind of shit. It's like they'd probably monetize my shit if I had a fucking Radio Disney edit of it. But my songs as they sit... There's no way in hell YouTube would let me demon like let me monetize them. Especially since I only have like 20 subscribers. YouTube. How the fuck do you expect your smaller channels to grow if you're taking away all the resources that allow them to grow? Idiots! All of them! And don't even get me fucking started on the worst of it all the hate speech guidelines oh my god the bias in those is unreal so basically this this topic touches a lot more into the political videos i'm going to talk about that in a separate video entirely when i get to make it so I'll I'll post that when I when I actually talk about that. But rest assured, I will get to that and I will rip that topic a new asshole. Just not right now because I need to focus. That's I need to focus on what I'm talking about right now. Because like I said, what YouTube is doing right now it's hurting its small channels. 
And when these small channels can't succeed, they're going to move to other video platforms. Then YouTube's viewership rate is going to drop. Then they're going to start losing money, and eventually YouTube's just going to collapse in on itself. I'm sure they don't want that. So YouTube, you better start fixing your shit, or else you're going to see a massive exodus of creators from your platform going on to other less restrictive platforms. So, in conclusion, I guess... What YouTube is doing right now is basically a giant FUCK YOU to its smaller creators like me and countless others that are just barely scraping by making videos, trying to become the next big thing, but YouTube is taking away all our tools to become the next big thing. And if shit doesn't change, YouTube's gonna die from this. And that's the bottom line. Your friendly neighborhood brony metalhead making his voice heard. I really hope you liked the video. Sorry if I got really rambly at points, but once again, I don't have a script or anything, so I'm just making, I'm just rattling off what I think would be what I'm trying to say, you know, like, I'm sorry if I ramble, it's just that I don't have a script prepared or anything, so what I'm saying is coming straight from the head to you live, or whenever the fuck you're watching this, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop myself before I start rambling again, it's your friendly neighborhood brony metalhead, signing off, keep it metal, everypony.